G'day guys, Anthony here. Beautiful day out here in lockdown. Two weeks in, two weeks to go in Christchurch, New Zealand at the St. John of God Hawes Hall. It's a nice day. You wouldn't even think we're in a national lockdown or national crisis. Amazing facility, this place. An amazing garden. It's huge, huge garden. Like trees that go for quite a distance. As we're in a coronavirus, uh, COVID 19 uh, thing, we aren't allowed to have visitors. So, this is one of multiple signs saying no visitors stop authorized access only so yeah the gardens here are, are actually not too bad at the moment due to the major crisis that he thinks has been put to one side this place holds 60 beds it's about four parts to it. You've got the rehab part, you've got the residential part, and then you've got a couple of other little parts of different areas. As well as you've got um, a few things here I'll show you on the sign. On the sign you'll see a horse will men shed build things. Then there's southern therapy music or some bloody thing. Uh, the Granada Centre, which is a gymnasium. St. John of God Hall's Hall and then Health and Ability Services. Over here is a little place you can sit. In the background there is a school. So that these trees are shared with them. It's so quiet compared to less than a fortnight ago when it was so noisy and busy. And here comes the long one. <laughs> so I've been here for almost a month. 9th of March I came in. Um, so far so good. Um, enjoying it, yes. Lots of things have changed. Sleep pattern has slowly started to change. I'm still going to bed late, but I'm getting up very early. Um, I'm no longer getting out of bed at 12. Be with me as the lawnmower man annoys the hell out of me. Um, so we'll go out the road with me. Oh, come, come the man. Oh, he's not going to be playing now. Um, it's a So, it's been a month here, it's been exciting-ish, not, with, COVID, with the coronavirus it's not made it easy, um, a lot of things are on hold, um, been to the gym this morning, did some, uh, a motor med, which is where you have a hand cycle, did some other foot, uh, getting off the ground and getting into the wheelchair, without any assistance and so I use walking crutches to walk to A to B and other things and I just didn't want to I just I want to learn how to basically get off the ground like say here right now and be able to yeah get up and go basically so like this is my wheelchair here this is the one for the uh, electric wheels um, Oh, the emotion wheels these are called I can think of the name of them then um, they're really good wheels um, they come in handy I can get to A to B extremely quick if I was doing this without the electric wheels right now 
I would be stuffed. Um, it's so hard to push without them, it's not funny. So, I feel sorry for people that do it all the time, but yeah. And it's really easy to push the chair when I'm on it. Mind of my hand. Yeah. Man, that normal is annoying. Um, the food's amazing ish. Not 100% the nicest food, but I'd rather home cooking a bit better. Basic pies and soft rolls and crap. <laughs> um, my room is uh, reasonably sized. I will do a video later on of my room so you can understand what it looks like and stuff. Um, man, fuck a man. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I haven't had a shave in a while. <laughs> I hadn't had a shave in three weeks. Well, no, a week. A week. And I had a, a bit of a shave this morning. Got sick of the itchiness. So I got rid of most of the rubbish. Um, kept some stuff. But, yeah. What else? Um, I'm beginning a bed soon, a new bed, which I can't wait because what I've got at the moment is a really tiny single type thing, very small to get onto, and you just, oh, oh you'll see it in the video at the end of this. Um, yeah, it's pretty small. Um, I'll show you around the hallways later on in the video. I'll have to do that some point when there's no one around um, it's out of all the people in here there's only about probably half a dozen people who actually can talk to you um, who are normal without stroke or just mainly stroke victims neuro uh, neur neuro new neuron head problems I can't think of the word Neuro neurological problems and severe um, other problems like motor neuron disease, Huntington's disease um, and a few other types of things like that. Um, people have got cerebral palsy um, and things like that. Plus there's my unit which is basically rehab for people with uh, head injuries after uh, strokes and stuff so and I'm basically the only one who's spinal there's one other guy who's tetra and he's got he's uh doesn't even use the gym quite a bit so yeah alright guys I'm going to show you inside in the next few moments so be with me and I'll show you around Welcome, St. John of God Horsehall. This is my rehab facility for the next six, 12 months. Learning to lose weight, be independent, and get my life back on track. Mentally, modality, and everything else.